It's time for a party, it seems, guys. Um, I've done most of the stuff that I want to do in the arena. I think there's probably a couple of guns I can win, but I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with I'm happy with where we're at right now. Uh, unfortunately, you guys informed me that I missed those videos from Thane. Uh, they show up in the TV. Um, in our bedroom, I think. And I can't activate anything there, unfortunately. Uh, so my bad. Uh, I guess I'll have to maybe reload an old save to check them out myself. Maybe that's something to do in the like end of game review episode. This is beeping though, so maybe we got a message. No. Okay, so um, I've already made a hard save, but I'm gonna make one again. <laughs> We've got a nice dress on. Um, yeah, we're gonna invite everybody. We've decked out the apartment how we like it. Let's invite everyone. Oh. So we can invite people who we don't want to invite. Oh, we can <laughs> not invite Jacob. <laughs> I'm all for not inviting Jacob. It's weird, I can only scroll up using the... Uh, Using WASD. Okay. Let's just invite everybody. Is there anyone we actually genuinely wouldn't want here? Except for Jacob, you know? Well, that's a picture of him from the first game. Yeah, maybe Zaid and Jacob probably probably be bad for a party. Ashley will get... Okay, let's make some party predictions. <laughs> Cortez probably will have a really good time, remain level-headed, and just be a general fun guy. Um, Edie will probably observe everybody. Um, that was my phone. Great. Um, we'll probably analyse everybody, make a bunch of jokes that no one understands because they've consumed too much alcohol. Maybe her and... Joker will get a bit frisky in the bedroom after Joker has maybe two drinks. Maybe he's a bit of a lightweight. Uh, James probably gets violent, you know, me, Ed, and everything. Has a few too many, um, oh, what do you call that Cuban drink? Oh, I've completely forgotten. Yeah, James maybe gets violent. He might be a really chill drunk. I don't know. Who, who says anyone's going to drink? Yeah, Joker maybe tries to get a bit frisky with Edie. I don't know. Liara, well, we'll save that for later. Trainer, hmm. Trainer's probably just going to end up playing some games, right? Ashley gets completely shit-faced. <laughs> Collapses in the bathroom, possibly soils herself. Uh, Garrus, maybe he, maybe Garrus and Tali. Or maybe he, invi he invites that um, Cheerian female. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe him and Tali might hit it off after a few drinks. Obviously, Tali probably shouldn't drink. That's probably bad for her, her immune system. Grunt probably throws himself out the window in a head-butted match with either Rex or Jack. Uh, Jack probably gets frustrated with um, somebody <laughs> at some point. Gets a little violent. Um, probably to keep her away from the booze. I think we should probably... I think Jack would be better off, um, you know, ingesting some herbs. You know, that that'll probably chill her out a bit, right? That's probably the best shout. No, no hard alcohol for Jack. Uh, Jacob probably becomes even less interesting after a few drinks. <laughs> he probably drinks light beer. That's probably my guess. Javik, well, this could get messy. Alcohol is probably illegal in Prothean society. Um, a party is probably grounds for execution according to Prothean doctrine, so that might not go well. Um, undoubtedly, he's probably just going to get even more blunt. He's going to tell everyone that they're unevolved. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, we're all single-cell amoebas compared to him and his four-eyed gods of his race. Cast me, she's probably going to steal something. Let's be honest. Um, Miranda, I don't know. She'd probably go quite well with Javik. You know, superiority complex. You know, she's kind of genetically engineered to be better than everyone. 
Uh, but I don't know, she's mellowed out a bit, so maybe maybe her and Jack can, can hash it out. Maybe that'll be a point of friction, I don't know. But we need to get a few drinks in Miranda, loosen her up. Samara. Uh, I could sh definitely ship Samara and Javik. I think that they would be perfect for each other. Dry sense of humour. Like, incredibly serious. Bit misunderstood. But, you know, I, th I, I, I could see that working. Maybe, I don't think Samara's going to get too drunk. I think she's going to remain perfectly stoic with that just picture perfect jawline she's got there i mean just look at that thing i bet you could put like a level on that <laughs> if she was upside down tali yeah she probably can't handle alcohol oh no we've seen her drinking actually haven't we what am i talking about but she needs to be careful with her old immune compromised immune system but maybe her and garris might hit it off yeah rex him and grunt together that might be uh, a disaster Especially with Jack here. Why is my phone making noises? Vibrate. Thank you. Yeah, Rex maybe gets violent, but he'd probably have a good time. He's probably still icing his, uh, his quads, right? <laughs> After we spoke to him at the bar. Zaid mm, probably got some dark memories, right? Uh... <laughs> He's probably going to rub someone up the wrong way. I don't know. But we're going to invite everybody. Maybe we can um, toast Morden and Thane and Legion and all the friends we've lost along the way. Yeah, let's invite everybody. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, mm. or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Oh no. What I mean, come on now. I mean, we need to let our hair down, so to speak. Not that I can do that, but you you understand the the saying, right, Glyph? Let's uh let's let's trash this place. This might be the last thing we ever do. I think it's time to blow off some steam. Damn Excellent straight. Choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. Yes. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. What? Red? Festive? Glyph? I clicked invite everybody, right? I didn't click start the party. Hey, come on in. Thanks what? for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Did I not invite everyone? Happy to be oh, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely did. Well, let's hang out. Look at this. Little clicks developing. I did not expect... I suppose she's kind of like a member of the Alliance now, right? So, is this everybody? Yeah, there's Samara. That is a deadly Man, crew right hot. there. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with a simple crowd. I mean, that's going to happen, right? Those two sat right there. I mean, they're, they're exactly each other's type. That's just... Okay, I don't know. I don't want to uh, cut off any ambient conversations i can't get over the size of this apartment the electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition or funded the war or made a nice down payment on one of those atlas mechs always wanting one or put an air conditioner in this suit you have no idea how hot it gets okay joker is arg is arguing with someone miranda and jacob you know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, 
Thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. Ugh. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. No. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs> I'm not sure Samara fits in with that crew. I think she fits up, fits in more with this crew up here, to be honest. Protein gatherings were nothing like <laughs> we considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. All right, I think that's everyone. So we've got four little little clicks here. We've got like an alliance click. We've got an ex Cerberus click. We've got um, I don't know the nerds. Let's call these guys the nerds. So the RS <laughs> is the Tassoni Shepherd Love Nest. I yeah. hope you aren't interrupting anything. You two might have been. Whatever the species, males never change, do they? <laughs> no. Perhaps it's a good thing we Asari don't have any. <laughs> Not my problem. Tell you what, if Garrus and Tali leave, this is quite a quartet here. <laughs> Me, Liara, Samara, Trainer. Just saying. Just saying. All right. Okay, let's see if there's any more ambient. So, Ashley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're much of a partier in your younger days. Younger days. Uh oh. No, I mean. Oh not, no. Not that you're... Steve. Crap. Relax. I'm just razzing you, Cortez. He's <laughs> just razzing. Back in school, I was too busy looking out for my sisters, so no. Not much of a partier. That's too bad, Williams. Stick with me. I'll make sure you have a good oh, time. Oh no. Oh yeah. You got plans for me, Vega? Oh no. Me? Nah, yes, nah. But well, why not come sit a little closer? Jack is so out of place here. Okay, so we'll we'll try and absorb a few more ambience. <laughs> Can we change the tunes? The Krogan are very strong. I believe it would take more than a hundred Pijaks <laughs> to defeat one. Yeah, sounds about right. That was good. Hijacks. <sighs> Rex wasn't even arguing. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk to the nerdy group first. Which of these guys? Trainer. Do people ever have a hard time understanding your accent? Hey. I wish they did. Something about an English accent says, I'm available, please hit on me, even when I'm not on Earth. Really? If I had a credit for every amorous attempt I've had to reject over the centuries, I could purchase the Citadel. I'm sorry, Samara. When I was an archaeology student, I found galactic dialects to be fascinating. All of the phonetic variants. Leon, this is a party. The only dialect I want to hear from you is <laughs> inebriated Asari. Yeah, there's been a distinct lack of northerners. There's only been Geralt, Garel, the Quarian, who's had a northern English accent, right? Serious bias going on here. It's a posh kind of English. Well, that's the north-south divide for you. Alright, we're going to start off with this group. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive y'all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? <laughs> Stealing the Normandy? Hey! An idea. Wait, I forgot about Casimir. What? Yeah, me too. Who? Trainer, 
You still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Oh, lightweight Call over here. Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. <laughs> it's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder. Which feels appropriate right about now. Yeah. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Oh, Liara. Oh, that was a lovely thing to say. I like how Garrus is just still in his armor. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends. Of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. <laughs> not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not oh, being no. here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. A brandy. Okay, Tali's wasted. Right, where's Kasumi? But it's like a little challenge to find her. She's stealing. All right, let's talk to Team Cerberus. I don't think we've got any more ambient conversation. Check that I'm actually recording. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. <laughs> you know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? The only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. And at least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Okay, we're flex. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. <laughs> Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? <laughs> Not the best icebreaker. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling Reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. That's all good, mate. You're not embarrassing. You perfectly categorized one of the main flaws with the uh, characterization of Cerberus in the second game. Very meta. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. Yeah. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? Please. You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Okay, great. Right, let's talk to Team Alliance. Can we sit elegantly this time? Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? I'll have one. Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've sure. all gone for rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to us. And a chance to rest. Yeah. Cheers. I, 
honestly don't know how Jack's... I can't even call them trousers for staying up. I mean... Hang on. Let's get the right... Damn it. The belly button is like there. And then there's like nothing. <laughs> like... What? <laughs> how? Where? How? <laughs> right, let's go talk to the uh, fun and violence crew. So who is strongest, you or the tank brain? <laughs> yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijack here wouldn't stand a chance. I don't know. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking. <laughs> yeah. Only one way to settle this. <laughs> <laughs> now the party started. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Well, uh, just not true. Was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. <laughs> Honestly, I think Grunt probably wins because he's genetically engineered to be like the best of his species, right? Having fun, Javik. In my cycle, too many people in one room risked a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. I wonder, if, I don't know if I should maybe reload after this and experience the party as a chilled party. I don't know if it's much different. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? <laughs> Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. <laughs> Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. By the way, uh, I mean, the only reason I pronounce Kasumi the way I do is because if I, if I think that it's a Japanese name, and if it's a Japanese name, then they are all saying it wrong. Um, so if it's not, then then I'm just being pointlessly pretentious by saying it that way, but you would not pronounce it Kasum, uh, Kasumi. That's like a very American way of pronouncing it. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? Yeah, I think you're more of a heavy metal kind of guy. Right. What do we do now? Kasumi. Maybe that's what we've got to do. Maybe we've got to find her. This definitely isn't club music, Rex. This is like elevator music. I must admit. Oh. Okay, I admit. Oh. When I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. I'm glad I got your hopes up, Tally. When I first heard about it, I thought the shadow broker was a shadow boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor <laughs> punching bag. And that's exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. Wow, this is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed. But fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Jesus. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? Any excuse to take his bloody shirt off? But you have no plans after Edie? 
for someone more human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. I'm straight. You know what you want. Sorry. I can respect that. How's it going? Hey, Shepard. Okay, this is a sign. So, where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is, Shepard gets me and Bryn into the council chamber. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. Then comes the question. A hundred vulture. Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad <laughs> eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. Death rays are always awesome. Okay, so we've exhausted the dialogue for the nerds. Hello, Commander. And the Alliance. Shepard. Cerberus. So Joker set you free, right? Do you ever get hassled for being a real deal AI? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. <laughs> I asked directions <laughs> from that bot on the way here. <laughs> I'd love if we could propose a toast. Shepherd. Okay, that, that right. So, from the murderous team up here. So, do you have infiltration software that lets you fake being drunk? Yes, though it is rudimentary. The planned strategy was to avoid social situations where yeah. naturalism would come under scrutiny. I want to see it. You are seeing it now. Man, some Cerberus programmer phoned that one in. Okay. Hey. Cerberus has got a lot of dialogue here. Shepard. All right, I think we we'll talk to Glyph. Hey, Shepard. Yep, that's it. Well, that was fun. Hopefully, it's not Your over yet. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Absolutely not. The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tariq. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tariq and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes longer. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. <laughs> and Tuchanka supports life. Here I comes the Prothean. Consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, talking shop? No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. <laughs> That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make <laughs> him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. <laughs> My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Yeah. No, I don't think we need to do that to Joker, man. No, I think Joker is a pilot. He's very specifically a pilot. 
Could be funny though. I don't want to make him break a bone though by shooting the gun. The recoil maybe would break a bone. Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. You mean you would have wounded it? Ha! Ah. And maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. Oh yeah, you we'll will. See. Right, who else have we got? Grunt is talking to himself. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? <laughs> no, you can't. Go away. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This is kind of like a private party. No. I, I really don't want to... I don't know. I'm not sure. Can we come back for this? You can't come in either. Stop asking. Yeah. I don't want to be boring here, but I feel like they're just going to get killed by Grunt or something. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really, no. Get lost. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Uh, no. <laughs> Great work. Felt good. Thanks. No. See? Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. Ah, oh, crap. Maybe I should have invited them up. I've had lots to drink. Then look at me. Still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. I could stop bullets with my mind. <laughs> you guys, I love you guys. <laughs> no, no, listen, okay? No, no, really. Okay? Oh, you guys. All right. Who else have we got? Samara and Zaid looking at I artwork. Sweetheart. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a oh, lot no. in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? Mm, that's not what I she is. I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Oh, no. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Oh, are they? <laughs> You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. No, oh, God. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> it makes me feel uneasy, like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. Okay. I really do not ship them at all. So, you're... Oh, dude, no! I didn't do anything. Just keep no. <sighs> Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not going to smear the walls with her this time. 
And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. <laughs> hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting fruits and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. <laughs> you see, Shepard? Best of friends. Uh, come on, we can get along. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. <laughs> what? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? <laughs> Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's a mod. Yeah, Kasumi, is. I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me, too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. Um. Good to see you. Yeah. Sorry that cut off. I really didn't. I didn't, I didn't do anything. Kick ass. Uh oh. The Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Maybe. <laughs> what are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. Oh, I'll have you know that my physical conditioning is top rate. Yeah. I mean it. Check me out. Hmm, not sure if I can tell just by looking. Oh, no. Come on in closer. Don't be shy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't be shy. Oh, Liara, let's get out of here. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning <laughs> trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Commander, just listen. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? The gym. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay. Maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. <laughs> Come on, Ashley. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit up. <laughs> Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> uh, goddess. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we stick with our wife here. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Ash, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Oh. Yeah? I think I can make that happen. Okay, then. Okay, more drinks, snacks, help yourselves. Oh, no. I think Ashley's just going to get too drunk and she's not going to, they're not going to be able to fool around. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. <laughs> Should I find someone else to be? <laughs> no! No, no, I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the oh, Normandy's no. drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. <laughs> oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. Edie she can. does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? <laughs> Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. Oh, come on, I want to hear. 
least we're sitting down. What's wrong, you two? Properly now. I am asking specialist trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepherd. I put some in through the filters. Is it <laughs> organic? On Probably not. You said that you wanted to quote. Pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. <laughs> well, uh, there's a context there that uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> there's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Oh, wow. Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and. <laughs> My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost <laughs> never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal. Oh no. The <laughs> oh good lord. <laughs> Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Oh Did no. I forget to scan the cheese. This is why I don't drink. Fair's fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that <laughs> I want to she roll said. naked with <laughs> your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. <laughs> oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program <laughs> so I don't die. Oh, that was great. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Awkward. Uh, where did Garrus go? Any no one in the hot tub yet? I expect that to be populated. Oh no, Garrus was oh, at the bar. That was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics, we can we can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself <laughs> with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites uh -huh. involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No, 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 no! You can't even. No. Oh. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Send it my way. Oh. Yeah, it's called Nia Automata. <laughs> A game that How people get. Hey! Get back here! Alright. Okay, we got the prompt to talk to Glyph again, but there might be some more ambient conversation. Here's the thing. Beautiful. <laughs> I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Jack. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. No shit. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing, despite everything Cerberus did to you. I find that extremely admirable. Wow. Thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can live with that. Yeah, we all can. Okay. Oh, don't give me that look. What look? That I wanted to watch Joker break his hands off yeah, at the exactly. shooting range look. It's not cool to mess with people because they've got limitations, you know. 
Oh, next you'll be going on about how the strong aren't supposed to eat the weak. Then no. Uh, speaking as the weak, yes. But everybody's weaker than me. What am I supposed to do for lunch? Three words. <laughs> Thresher, Ma, Jerk. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Glyph has got a bow tie on. I didn't even notice. Glyph, you are adorable, mate. I'll hold a special wedding ceremony for you and Ava at the end of the game. I'm pissed, but I'm not going to let it ruin the party. Or should I say, we are not. Right, Williams? Whoa, leave me out of this, hombre. More drinks, yes? Jacob. Yeah, Jacob. Oh, Jacob's all right. Hello, Shepard. Okay, exhausted that dialogue. When you were younger, you ever just throw people around for fun? People? You know, people, things, stuff, pets, cars, <laughs> whatever. Of course not. Oh yeah, all the time. They don't have our level of class, Liara. <laughs> so what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fighter on completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. To be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and workmanship. Wow. Kind of makes me tear up a little. Kind of makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. Grunt. You again. I thought you were dead. You can't come in. Hey. We're not gonna hug or anything, are we? You wish. Yeah. Oh, damn it. We could just talk. I'm <laughs> sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years worth. I'd like to hear them. And then I could tell you about my Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Yeah, Once you've experienced a love like that. Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my I forgot wife, about that. All, but also my best friend. <laughs> you know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> oh, dear. Shepard. Hey, Shepard. Shepard. There you are. Okay. Hey, Shepard. Shepard. That's everything from them. Uh... Hello, Commander. Hello again. All right, I think that's everything. Okay, Glyph. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's dance. Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin <laughs> functionality. <laughs> you gotta love Glyph, dude. You gotta love him. Yeah! Oh no, Jack. Oh no, look at Steve. <laughs> oh, let's get in there. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. Look at Steve. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Dog legs? 
Steve's dancing's reminding me of Kim Kim from Disco Elysium from the dance scene. That 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 absolutely broke me that dance scene. Yeah, train is a spinner. Yep, table hopper. Steve's he keeps the elbows tucked. Tomorrow's doing the old sen sensual uh, Asari dancing. Lots of like hourglass figure making just the whole time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and uh, oh, Garrus has kind of got like the chicken arms. So that's kind of inappropriate due to all the bird jokes that people make. Oh, Glyph's bow tie spinning. <laughs> Captain on deck. Has she always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive <laughs> a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. Yeah, it is. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. Yeah. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. <laughs> I, I love Steve, man. Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Has Leo always been so blue? Where is she? Has Liara passed out or something? Oh, this is good fun, man. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. <laughs> Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one legged varin. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. Trevor. So here's where the party's at. <laughs> yeah. Got him right. Come to hang out with the popular kids, Shepard. Easier to talk back here. What do you think of the music? Great? Bad? What? Not as good as in your cycle, eh, Javik? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Not even remotely. Knew it. Oh, maybe we can leg wrestle later. Perfect end to a perfect evening. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll look for you later then, maybe. I got a fist. Go then. Okay. Jeff. Yes, Edie. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with Aww. friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing <laughs> extranet video. <laughs> okay, that's cheating. Blackmail. So he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with her. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yeah. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. <laughs> uh, dancing now. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously. Ugh. Yes. Fine. Just don't, please don't hurt yourself. Yes. He dances like us. <laughs> oh, awesome. I'm in full support of that. Yeah, I should have invited those people up. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Lightweight. Front. Okay. <laughs> 
What? Yeah. I got five credits. Excellent. Go back to sleep. Yeah. How did Liara disappear to? Could not. Could you? You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh no. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones <laughs> to actually do it? Any of you? What a guy. Buckle up, brother. James, seriously? Oh. Shepard, what's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. <laughs> I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Uh oh. Among other things. Looks good on you. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Yeah. Oh, great picture. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Hey, Shepard. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, didn't expect the arrow to dance like this. She's a bit drunk. Has someone ended up in the jacuzzi? Yes. Wait, look. <laughs> oh, I'm licking. Believe me. Oh. <laughs> look, I think you're beautiful and kick ass with an emphasis on the ass. <laughs> Thanks, that's sweet. <laughs> I think you're kind of sweet. <laughs> Oh, this Your is horrendous. Lips are amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Hey, you two. What's up? Nothing. Really? No, Shepard, we're fine. <laughs> Lieutenant? Did you just giggle? <laughs> I did not just giggle. I'm just, you know, I... <clears throat> Shepard, uh, can we help you with anything? Oh god, the options disappeared. Yeah, that, go for it. Have some fun. Looks like you guys are having fun. Sorry to interrupt. I should probably go check on Glyph or something. See you later, Shepard. God, look at the way he's looking at it. Cast me, are you in the... Nope. Ashley, tu con tantas curvas, yo sin frenos. God. What was that? Say it again. Tu con tantas curvas, <laughs> yo sin frenos. I have a funny story about a friend. A, a similar situation. It feels so good to let loose, doesn't it? Gotta work it out somehow. It does. I'm usually pretty crap at this. This and baking. I can't figure it out. I know what you mean. It's because it requires patience, Miranda. Oh, God. This was nice, you know. Serialized. Don't get much of that. If we are not completely annihilated by Reapers and the galaxy is not decimated for thousands of years, 
then we should do this again. Yeah, Chuffy. That's the spirit. Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Oh, the music stopped. Oh, there we go. Okay, group photo. Let's just make sure we've gotten got all the dialogue out of everyone. Shepard. Are you having fun? Kind of. Excellent. Your dancing closely resembles Shepard's. <laughs> yeah, low blow. Really? You have them all memorized? 67! Holmium! Very reactive. Very <laughs> magnetic. Torian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. <laughs> 68. Erbium. Atomic weight, 167 and change. Nice. My oh, turn. no. 69. Hey! <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> what? I don't get it. <laughs> I'll explain it later. Oh, will you? <laughs> it's thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians <laughs> have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. Nerd! Steve's dancing's just the best. No. Cast me. Oh, Hello, Steve. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. That's creepy. Glad you could make it, Kasumi. Hey, I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. You're earlier than I expected. I kind of thought they'd have a camo hat. <laughs> Fair enough. Shepard. Okay, that's this group. Hey, Edie, check this out. Oh, pancreas. <laughs> Very impressive. Your central nervous system is well coordinated given your inebriation. That looks like you're not the only dancing machine at this party. Am I right? I'm gonna Jeff. Feel this in the yes, Edie. Look that was a very bad joke. I liked it. I love it. you too, Edie. Oh. Oh. Commander. Commander. Say it again. Tu con tantas curvas y yo siempre. Hey, Shepard. Okay, I think that's, uh, that's everything, man. Take the picture. Hello, Shepard. Hey, everyone! Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way! Make way! Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy. Oh. That get me a bit emotional, man. Oh, I thought my game was a please don't crash. See if anyone else is up. <laughs> Team Spirit. <laughs> Alliance Frigate Normandy SR2. Oh yeah, because it was being it was in for maintenance. Shepard, hope you're well. <gasps> 
Two mission on Tuchanka could end things. Made preparations. Asked friends in STG to leave this with you next time you were off duty. Some of my older work. Performances, stories, merely entertainment. But entertainment useful at times. Good luck. In prophase you see chromatins condense to chromosomes. In metaphase their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase they separate, then telophase arrives. And when cytokinesis comes to cells lead separate lives. Oh, Hello, Perry the Pajak. Happy to be here. Science fun today, very respected. Education of youth vital for future. Now, children, science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric, indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. Native to Tuchanka. Dangerous predator, but can be incapacitated with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pajak away from Varen. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instinct. Ah. Problematic. Suggest going limp. Struggling counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. Or not. Ah. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of course. See, children? Key to science is testing hypotheses, making observations. Next hypothesis? Attempt neural shock. Ah, neural shock clearly effective. Heard the pie jack also clearly made of flammable material. Any questions? I, didn't, I really wasn't expecting that at all. Like, to hear Morden again. Lysine, Valine, Lucine, Isolucine, Alanine. They all are aliphatic, so you will not see a ring. The lone human amino acid with one is proline. From protein we are formed. With two hydroxyl groups you'll find serine and threonine. For sulfur look to cysteine or to methionine. For bases you have arginine, lysine, and histidine. From protein we are formed. Now the aromatics! <laughs> Tryptophan and tyrosine and phenylalanine. Aspartic and glutamic are both acids as we've seen. Or am I'd see asparagine and also glutamine. From protein we are formed. Omega. Sky was color of fit cam tuned to a dead vorture. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit. Then trouble Doppler shifted deep as sorry blue as it came through my door. <laughs> Likely Elcor father. High gravity adapted in all right places. Is this a blasto script? As sorry said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. <laughs> Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart. But Krogan have redundant nervous system. Felt redundant nervous myself. <laughs> Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. <laughs> Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. <laughs> Asari, very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened, did enjoy reading. In bed. <laughs> Woke up looking at barrel of pearl handled Carnifex. My M98 in another room. Another black widow standing over me. Only loose ends left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. <laughs> when woke up from explosion, Asari had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be in afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self-fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule in more ways than one. So is that Morden's way of saying he slept with Aria? <laughs> <laughs> Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. <sighs> Maybe next time. Until then, we'll stick to patter songs. In prophase, you see chromatins condense to chromosomes. In metaphase, their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase, they separate, then telophase arrives. And when cytokinesis comes to cells, lead separate lives. Oh, man. That was the first one again, right? Uh-oh. Javik, were you spying on us? 
Uh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? <laughs> Kneel before Javik. I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, <laughs> Turians, the Asari. I was one. The Ara. She had those eyes and that voice. She was blue. No, no. It was just a dream. Oh, I smelled primitives. <laughs> oh, it was no dream. Nightmare. Ah, oh, man. It was good to hear Morden again. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that <laughs> word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Yeah. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. I'll make you tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Well, oh, that's tomorrow meditating. Shepard. Good morning. Morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. Of course. It was good to see everyone again. Yeah, you too. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. Oh, Kila. I am going <laughs> to die. We're all going to die. <laughs> I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? <laughs> oh my god. I remember something <laughs> about a tattoo. I would have probably killed her. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Yeah, we've all been there. Uh, All right, let's see who's downstairs. Okay, Jack's doing pull-ups. Okay, Jacob's doing sit-ups. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? No. I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? No, they had fun. 1085. 1086. 1087. Is, Kas is Kas Kasumi going to be watching? Shepard? Shepard? Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? Oh, no right. Hangovers. Really? What about Liara? Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Not with your levitating push-ups, hey. pull-ups. Hey. Oh god. I think I broke my head on something <laughs> last night. Lightweight. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. I didn't have to do that. Shepard. Shepard. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. Good. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Mmm. Good tea. Mmm. Can we get some tea for Liara? Shepard? Mm, morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Oh, not... not so loud. Hey. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs, trainer, Esteban, eggs, Joker, <laughs> where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. I don't think she Rex, can stomach those. buddy, 
Eggs? Tally? Nah, she'll definitely want eggs. <laughs> Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. Shepard? Eggs? Sh sure. Shepard. Cortez. Rex. Oh no, Jeff. Poor Jeff. Oh, that's Trainer. So, last night, I didn't do anything, did I? Not really. I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet. So, maybe I just imagined that last part. <laughs> I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Yeah, Kasumi, probably. Oh... I should probably talk to Edie. Or alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. I'll talk to Jeff. This might be music to his ears. <laughs> not my fault. I was overserved. Yeah, so Kasumi, Kasumi, I'm just going to hey. interchange it. Because whatever. Hey, Rex. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the <laughs> next morning. Huh. Uh, uh. Jeff. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Yeah. I'm pretty good about that. That's an achievement. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud, or walk too loud. You know, just just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun though, Commander. <laughs> Steve-o. Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last <laughs> night. What a night. We should never end it. Thanks, Shepard. Yeah, shit, thanks for coming, Steve. Thanks, Shepard. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the <laughs> freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? <laughs> Shepard? Edie? Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, I know. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Uh, is that what we do next? Oh man, what a night. Hey. Alright guys, that we had a we had an awesome party. Look at this picture man. Can we just like uh, photoshop in like uh, Thane and Mordin and Legion? We look great in our dress. Eating Joker together. Been a hell of an adventure so far. Just kind of getting the feeling like, I don't know, uh, with the whole end, the possible way that this could go at the end, I don't think we're all going to make it, man. Anyway. Uh, we'll leave it there, guys. Uh, I think the next episode um, is going to be planet scanning because I'd like to just go and do as much as possible before we trigger the point of no return. Uh, we could do with earning a bit of extra cash anyway, which we'll probably get from scanning a bit. Um, and I can always grind in the arena, but I don't necessarily want to do that um, so that we can maybe buy the Typhoon, uh, make sure everything is upgraded, maybe do another respec. I'll have a think about that. And yeah, that'll be the plan for the next episode then. 
if that if I get that done within an hour, which I hopefully will, um, then we'll move on to the priority mission after we've been to, back to the main citadel to hand in all of the, those kind of collected things. So yeah, that was an awesome party. Um, nostalgic, character, kind of nice to see some relationships resolved, uh, some interactions that we hadn't really seen before. I guess we hadn't seen a lot of the Mass Effect 2 crew interact with each other, so it was cool seeing them chat. And, you know, I'd, I even liked having Jacob here, which means it was a good party, right? Um, yeah, I got to see Javik loosen up a bit, Grunt go a bit too far. Uh, James and Ashley um, maybe had a one night stand? I don't know, that's what it was hint hinted at. Uh, yeah, the trainer got absolutely humiliated, it was great, Edie and. <laughs> Edie and Joker kind of solidified their relationship properly. You know, Edie said that she loved him, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it was great. So we'll pick it up from here next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave me a like if you did. And just remember, everybody, never trust an uncrate. I'll see you next time.